There's one thing that most authors forget to do on their Instagram that can actually hurt their presence on Instagram. It's really simple to do. It's all about tagging your own content. But why is that important, Cam? Take a look at your profile. When you go over to your profile, you're gonna see your grade, your reels, you're gonna see your different guides that you can create, and you're gonna see a tag section. When you click on that tag section, it brings up anything you're tagged in. It's like your own pretty little stir front. But who tags you in posts? Fans who read your book, of course, we hope. Hopefully it's some nice book reviews. Hopefully it's pretty pictures of your book. Hopefully it's not negative things or mean things. And hopefully it is not the people who are tagging you because they wanna win a contest or because they want you to play some kind of game. Whatever you're tagged in shows up here. So if you're not putting your own content in here, you're detrimentally hurting yourself. Think about it. What happens if nobody tags you in things and you have like two posts here? That doesn't look good for you. What happens if it's not the quality that you want representing yourself? That's not good. But if you tag your own content, it will show here as a mix of what you're being tagged in and what you are tagging yourself in. Now, should you be tagging every single post? Not every single post. If it doesn't have value to what you're doing, if it's just kind of like a fun thing, then you don't need to tag yourself. But it is, if it is representational of you, your author career, your books, your brand in any way, tag it tag it. Please tag it. And if somebody is tagging you in something that is not related to your business, like a contest or a giveaway or some kind of game they want you to play, untag yourself. That shouldn't be there. This is your professional representation of yourself here on your Instagram. This is your storefront, your representation of you as an author and your books and why people should be working with you. This is just as important as your Amazon page, which you want to look pretty and be a good representation of your professional life, right? So your tag section is incredibly important because people are going to look. People will go to your profile. They'll look at your grid. They'll look at your reels. They'll look at your guys. They'll look at the other things that you have posted. They're also going to check out your tag section to see who's talking about you. So now is your time to fill that with quality content. Things you're already creating should be there. They should be there. And you should be encouraging your fans to tag you as well in specific posts, things that are relevant to you, things that will help you, pretty book pictures. Teach them when to tag you. Ask them to tag you in these different things and then remove tags that are not qualified tags, things that are not going to be a good professional representation. Get them out of there. You saw it. You saw the thing somebody tagged you in. You're good. Remove it. Make sure you are curating this section. You don't get full control over this, but you do get some control and you have the ability to input your own content, your quality content that is a good representation of you in the tag section. And like I said, you don't need to be tagging every single thing. The important things you should be tagging enough so that you've got a good grid going on here. Tag the important relevant things. But if you don't tag everything, now it looks different than your grid, right? Even if nobody else is tagging you with things, now it looks different than your grid and you're good to go. So tag the important relevant things. Anything that's going to be a good professional representation of you, tag it. Get it in this feed so that people can easily see that. People often forget to do these little simple things on Instagram and the other social platforms, but it makes a world of difference, especially when it comes to your sales and your representation and your community building. So follow along for more. And if you've got questions on any of the specific platforms, go ahead. I teach social media professionally over at KM Robinson on YouTube. Make sure you're checking it out because it is day by day by day of the changes for the algorithms, the new platform additions, the new features that they're giving us, etc. Go follow me over there and drop your questions so that we can help you navigate this. So this can be your most profitable author year ever without the stress and overwhelm because your business is working on your behalf while you're off living your best life and living your author dreams because your business is working for you. Drop your questions below. We'll see in the upcoming episodes.